I just kicked off a tournament in uh, the new um, GoE I downloaded, which is um, it's um, Cute Chess GUI 1.0, and I set it up to play a tournament between the um, TCEC Stockfish version that just won the, the latest um, TCEC season versus um, Ethereal which um, I think it's a relatively new engine. The time control is 40 moves in one minute so it's pretty fast and I set it up to do four concurrent games so that's why you see these tabs here one, two, three, four, five. I guess there must be a couple more up front. One, two, three, four, five, six. Huh. I don't know why I don't know why I didn't see six. Um, I don't know if you can um No, it doesn't seem like you can take those windows and um, stack them. Okay, but a as you can see, though, as you switch these tabs, the information changes, the board changes. So it's really cool. I mean, I can have multiple games going at the same time. Um, you can see the moves in this, t changing this tab down here. You see a uh, evaluation history down at the bottom. You see the PV and the um, some other stats displayed here. I I, I believe I have um, Syzygy hooked up to to um, Stockfish, the six man, but I don't have I don't believe I have it hooked up to Ethereal, but I do have I do have Syzygy hooked up for adjudication. So, um, cute chess knows how to end the game if it's a if it's a table based draw. Um, so anyway, this is a very fast time control, but I think you still get some interesting um, computer chess with it. Um, it's actually it's a lot of fun to watch because things are moving right along. It's definitely a high pace. So, looks like Stockfish is black on this board and he's really closing in on Ethereal. It's looking really bad here. How about this one? This one here, Stockfish is black again. Um, by the way, I believe this is only going to be 24 rounds. Each game um, is from an opening book, starts from an opening book, and, and both players get to play that opening with white. So there's two games per opening. Sequential from the beginning of the opening book. It's not random, so um, I could repeat the same match over and over again. So this one here. Uh, white seems to be hanging on, but black has the advantage with four pawns. White seems to be hanging on by a thread with these two rooks, but things are getting things are getting really nasty. Um, yeah, things are getting really nasty here. It's 
running out. He's running out of uh, ways to hold off those pawns. It's done. So let's see if we can check on the results. 13 games are finished already. Wow. That's amazing. ELO difference of 559. Now, one thing that I should say is that I ran this between Stockfish and a version of Stockfish 8 that I had downloaded that uh, I've had for a long time. Um, and the difference was less than 100 ELO. It was like 30-something for the same, the same matchup, the same match conditions. Here, Stockfish hasn't lost a game. This is the same Stockfish that just beat Houdini in a lopsided 100 game match with a long time control. So this is an amazing version of Stockfish. See now we have 14 games completed. So, um, mostly draws there, it looked like, it wasn't it? Or maybe it was just a couple draws. Let's look at that again. Maybe we misread that. Win, loss, draw. Yeah, so, um, Ethereal has lost 12 games. He's listed as first on this. Just in case it's hard to read, I'll stretch it out. Ethereal versus Stockfish. Win, loss, draw. So let's browse through some of these other games. That one looks very drawish. Uh oh. 